Hello, my name is Jacob Good, and this is my final reflections. Uh, we're going to start off with equity versus equality, and uh, with a quote. Some people choose teaching because they enjoy being around young people and watching them grow. Others need to be around young people and let their students grow for them. Teaching for some is a family tradition, a craft that one naturally masters, a world surrounds one from childhood. For others, it is magical because they had magical teachers whose role they want to assume. Teaching can be a way of sharing power, of convincing people to value what you value, or to explore the world with you or through you. Cole, page 17. It's very important to have equality in a classroom and just and also in the world um, and for everyone to be equal and that for there to be uh, equity. Um, and honestly, I don't think there's a lot of it today in schools um, and just in the world. But, um, I don't know, it, it definitely needs to change, and I feel like we need to change that by being more racially accepting and um, gender specifically accepting, and, and don't favor one over the other. I mean, that's really all, all you can do uh, off the top of my head. Um, right now, I mean, you, that's, I mean, at the end of the day, we just need equality and we need equity and we need to find ways to make that happen. There's no excuses for it. Next up is technology and globalization. A quote, globalization produces an increased quantity of scientifically and technically trained persons from Priyanka Gupta from EdTech Review. Uh, this is a very awesome quote in my mind. Um, and it basically just talks about how we're very dependent on technology. You need technology to survive, to live, to grow in today's society and and just get through life i mean it's it's pretty much it and i feel like it's a very big thing um nowadays in education we need technology in education especially with how dependent we are in on it in day-to-day -day life like i feel like it needs to be integrated into our curriculum as a whole so it's a very important thing that that we as a society need to start adjusting and, and adapting to. Uh, next up is race and ethnicity. Who are today's students? Frequently, they result in gross exaggerations and stereotypes. Girls are not as smart as boys. African Americans have rhythm and Asians are studious. Nito, page 42. That quote um, really stood out to me. And I think it's it's unacceptable, honestly. It's very unacceptable that we have people that have those exaggerations and stereotypes. It's, it's just, it's terrible. Um, in the world and in, in education. I mean... There's plenty of females that are smarter than males, African Americans who don't have rhythm, and Asians that aren't studious. And those are just three examples. There's so many other examples, but, um, and and, and insult and stereotypes that take place, and it's definitely something that has to be fixed. That we need to change, um, and it's. I don't know. It's, it's a big deal. It's a real big deal. And we need to fix it.
Next up is socioeconomic status. Uh, quick quote. Uh, historically, many organizations in urban communities, such as Boys and Girls Club, YMCAs, the Urban League, and Scouting have provided urban students the opportunities to connect with a larger society and have promoted a positive sense of purpose and participation. Donnell, page 156. Uh, this quote stood out to me and I just really thought it was very cool and awesome that these organizations go out of their way to help these urban students and help them live their lives like and connect to a larger society and give them opportunities that they ordinarily wouldn't have and like sports for example um, and a lot of today's professional athletes they are in the pro sports because they connected with the sport when they were young through these clubs which is really awesome so I feel like it really helps out in so many ways, um, both through education and just in the day-to-day -day life. Um, so I think we definitely need to not discriminate um, race, gender, um, socioeconomic status. We need to figure it out. But yeah, it's it's. I'm really proud to see these organizations go out of their way and, and help these urban students. It's really awesome to see. Uh, next up is L LGBTQ plus community. Uh, quote, trust your own positive intentions. Joe English from Education Week. Uh, you really need to just be pure with your intentions, basically, is what this is saying. You can't be two-faced, you can't be fake, because um, otherwise you're gonna hurt the people in the community and you're going to insult them. It's not It's not gonna be good if you're being fake or two-faced uh, in your support. And if anything, it's gonna be worse than if you didn't support them at all. So just be pure in your intentions. Um, and at the end of the day, love is love. It shouldn't matter if someone loves a boy or a girl or whatever, or if they're transgender. At the end of the day, love is love, and you need to be happy. And if loving the same sex or changing genders is what makes you happy, then be happy. So, and no one should judge you for that, because at the end of the day, like I just said, you just need to be happy. Um, and finally, uh, special education and disabilities. Uh, quote, ironically, perhaps one of the most powerful learning approaches for students with disabilities is to prepare and encourage them to teach others. Marlowe and Page, page 79. This is important to me because I can relate to it. And I can relate to it because in fifth grade, I helped out with the special ed kids and I helped teach them and play with them and everything else, um, got lunch, all that fun stuff. And one day I taught a kid how to do some stuff and he got all excited and then he went over to his friends and told them about it and started to teach them about it. And it was really cool to see how excited he was and how how passionate it was. It was very powerful and uplifting um, for him and also for me to see that that I that I gave him that. And it was just it was really awesome, really awesome to see. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and quick summarization of the class um it was a really great fun class um and i learned a lot gained a lot of knowledge and viewpoints and i would definitely recommend this class for anyone who wanted to take it so yeah thank you